ML Sports take here from Rosie's Corner. Get on down for a Fish Friday here yet again. They've also got special salads every single week as well. Pizza wing combos. They've got the hot and cold subs, meatball bomber. I would try the gold fever and garlic parm wings absolutely to die for here and of course get a gift card for any occasion here at rosie's corner the fish friday by the way it can come with your coleslaw french fries or mac and cheese for a dinner option or a lunch option so make sure you stop by for that okay i'm tired of lamar jackson i'm tired of aaron Rodgers, but this video is you know what is next with these guys i mean where are we going with lamar jackson where are we going with Aaron Rodgers? i'm going to start with rogers who's a total total buffoon he loves the drama he loves to be out there on the Pat McAfee show. He loves to talk about his time in the dark, wiping his butt in the dark, uh, you know, the room, the food getting thrown underneath, all that stuff. He loves that stuff. He's a drama queen like crazy. Now, look, he's one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. He's a first ball Hall of Famer. There's no doubt about that. I actually wouldn't even put him in my top 10. I know people think that I'm crazy, but there's two reasons why. Number one, the most recent several years of postseason failure. Number two, People forget how elite the quarterbacks have been over the last, oh, I don't know, 70 years. I mean, people forget Bart Starr, Johnny Unitas, Otto Graham. They forget Terry Bradshaw. They forget Troy Aikman, you know, Jim Kelly, Dan Marino. Plus, we have Brady. We have Montana. We have Elway. You know, Roger Staubach. I mean, I can go on and on and on with the amount of you know, Drew Brees, Ben Roethlisberger, right? I mean, Peyton Manning. I mean, my God, the amount of quarterbacks that have played up here is ridiculous. I, I don't know if many other people would put him in the top 10. They probably would. But I think people forget the amount of unbelievable elite quarterbacks we've had through the years and that's why I put them outside the top 10 because I think all those guys whether it's having more rings or better postseason overall success or overall stats in general or being a you know the best of their generation whatever the reason is I would have them just outside the top 10 anyway what's next for him we think it's the New York Jets but these two guys are these two sides excuse me are are kind of like just not meeting halfway and and we thought it was a done deal and now there's some questions with Joe Douglas and company on the front office side of the Jets for what to get for compensation. Brian Gutekinds has said repeatedly in public uh, whether he said it directly or indirectly he's basically done with Aaron Rodgers. It's Jordan Love time. Okay let's just get the damn deal done already so we can stop talking about it and start talking about the next thing for the next several months which is if Aaron Rodgers is a Jets what their chances are to make the playoffs challenge the Bills and the division and maybe even go for a Super Bowl. Now, Lamar Jackson, holy smokes. This guy, no representation as uh, as a football player. He doesn't have an agent. He's been running uh, like crazy in terms of, uh, you know, uh, uh, trying to get, uh, you know, his new home, uh, running around. Uh, it's been it's been her as a, a, a representative. Uh, now it's him as a representative. Now he's going to social media for that. Uh, you know, and, and some people I've heard think that it's smart that he started tweeting about, you know, thanks to the fans and basically kind of giving a message that he's done in Baltimore, they think that that is the way to do it because the team would do it the same exact way if you get to this point in the negotiations between the two sides. I'm not quite over to that uh, opinion, into that camp, but I do see a little bit of it because he's using his leverage, using all of that, because why wouldn't Lamar Jackson say, wait a minute here, even though I don't have an agent, even though my mom has been running some of my uh, agent duties, there's no way that Kyler Murray is equal to me, and there's no way that I should be getting paid what he gets paid. I should be getting paid way more. Where's my value? I won an MVP. You guys are lost without me. You know what? But if Baltimore lets this guy go, they're idiots. Now, I know that Baltimore is the model franchise in the NFL for winning Super Bowls with, you know, average or just over average quarterbacks. We've seen it before. Joe Flacco had a great ride for one season. Where has he been since? I know he has a Super Bowl. You can't take it away from him. Same thing with the 2000 Ravens with Trent Dilfer. They were built on defense. Was he good for them? Did he make enough plays? Sure. He ain't Peyton Manning, and it's not, not Tom Brady. So when you look at that situation with Lamar, he's an MVP. He's proved himself. He's not a he's not a running back playing quarterback, which was the argument that we heard. And I've been proved wrong, by the way, with this guy too. I thought he'd be out of the league by now because of the amount of times he, he ran in college. I saw him play in, in the Dome for Louisville, obviously. He's probably the best college football athlete slash player I've ever seen in person. And nothing's changed since. Yeah, he's been a little banged up and all the rest, fine, but he can run it, he can throw it, he's proved himself, he's won an MVP. They would be dumb 
to let this guy go. He's the face of the franchise. He's a class act. He can throw it. He can run it. He can build around him. That's another thing. Baltimore hasn't done enough for Lamar Jackson. They haven't gone out and gotten him enough weapons and all the rest. To me, I think Lamar probably needs to play this thing out just a little bit longer, hire an agent right away, get it started, get it going, try to maximize your, your deal here in Baltimore and tell them to build around you. And if not, I'm gone and then have your agent work, you know, work a deal to get out of town and then, you know, compensation and all that from another team, um, you know, agree upon something because this has got to end. This Lamar thing has to end. Aaron Rodgers has to end. Lamar Jackson, he'd probably be a pretty good fit, right, in, in, in the system of the Atlanta Falcons. Um, you know, Arthur Smith and, and company are there. Uh, I think that he could fly around. He's got some weapons with Pitts and others. Um, you know, maybe he goes to uh, a team that we're not looking at right now, uh, that we're not concentrating on. Um, could he be a great, great fit for the New England Patriots? Bill Belichick has made it public that he's not really that interested, which is absolutely asinine to me because New England has zero skill players on offense right now, and they've become irrelevant after 20 years <clears throat> you know, of a dynasty. Now, I know that that can happen in the NFL, but it also happens where you kind of come back a little bit, and one year later you get right back to being a playoff team. Lamar Jackson can help you with that. What about the Jets? What happens if Aaron Rodgers doesn't end up going there and Lamar Jackson is an, is an option? Maybe. Um, so we'll see what happens here. But this is going to be a wild, wild uh, watch here with the rest of the, you know, Lamar Jackson and Aaron Rodgers, um, you know, leading up to the draft as well. Will a trade happen before that? Will it happen during the draft? Will it happen after the draft? All I know is it's chaos, and I'm tired of hearing about these two guys, and I'm sick of talking about them. So I'm ending it there. Mike Lindsley here with you. It's an ML Sports Take. Rosie's Corner, the place to be. Pizza, wings, pasta, hot and cold subs, and more. They've got their salads of the week as well. Comfort foods coming to a close with the spring and summer season right around the corner. So make sure you get your meatloaf Monday, turkey slop Tuesday, chicken and biscuit Wednesday, your Thursday, Friday mac and cheese, and your Friday fish as well. Gift cards available for any and all occasions. Menus are in the mail if you're in the Burton area as well. And oh, by the way, download the Slice app and you can order Rosie's Corner right from there as well. Rosie's Corner, Jason, Jody, and the gang, Ash, they're doing a great job here. Thanks to them for having me down and supporting the platform. And as I always tell you, enjoy the games.